Hey guys, so in this clip I'm just going to be showing you what I eat and make. I actually made this bread myself. I attempted to make focaccia bread but it didn't turn out quite right but the bread was still tasty although I don't think it's actually a focaccia because I didn't have that many bubbles in my bread. But um, I did lose a few clips so I'm just going to give you a quick overview. I think I used about one cup of flour, three quarters cup of water, a little packet of yeast so probably about seven grams some sugar, some salt, and some honey. I wouldn't follow my recipe though um, because I kind of eyeballed everything and this was my first time making focaccia bread. So I am no bread professional here. I don't think mine even turned out to be a focaccia, but it was still a tasty bread for me to have for lunch. So I think this is the second time the flour rose in this clip here, but essentially I let it rise for about 30 minutes and then I fold it in. Well, you're supposed to use your hands, but I use this spatula. And then the final time I just oiled my tray and poured the dough in the tray and then I let it rise for another 30 minutes. And then I came back and I dimpled the bread and later on you'll see what I season it with as well. But I just want, wanted to mention if you guys like watching um home cooked meals and the canning process and all that stuff you might want to check out um, a youtube channel called our small footprint she is an australian youtuber she lives off grid with her family of eight and she makes a lot of home cooked meals and does a lot of canning as well so if you're interested in that go check her out and maybe let her know in the comments that I sent you so here as you guys can see I've just put a bit of olive oil and I've dimpled the bread and I'm topping it off with some thyme as seasoning as you can see here and I think I did put some salt off camera because I forgot to do it whilst I was recording but I have seen put I have seen people put in um confit garlic and cherry tomatoes in their bread as well so maybe i'll experiment with that next time so i'm just gonna toss this in my air fryer but i'm gonna switch it on in oven mode and this is what the finished product looks like it was nice and crispy on the outside and soft in the inside despite not having too many air bubbles but this is what i had it with balsamic vinegar olive oil and some toppings on the side okay guys i'm just making my next meal here um, if you've watched my fresh food grocery haul, you would have seen I purchased a little bit over one and a half kilos of beetroot and I have juiced some of the beetroot with celery for, me for myself to drink, but I have put some aside to cook with as well. So here I'm just going to peel the beetroot and cut it up to small pieces and then lightly dress it with some olive oil and salt and roast it. I know with beetroot you're supposed to roast it whole with the skin on but because I'm running a little short on time I kind of just peeled it and chopped it into smaller pieces so it cooks a little bit quicker. So as you guys can see here just seasoning as I go then I'm going to wrap it up in that foil and chuck it in the air fryer. Um, and then I've just served it with some bocconcini on the side so a really nice light healthy lunch and you can even have some bread on the side. I had a pretty carb filled week. I had a lot of bread this week compared to usual. But here I've just purchased some bread from Coles, from the Coles Bakery. And I'm just dipping it in a little bit of balsamic vinegar, olive oil and salt. This is also really nice with tomato and bocconcini as well. Or even burrata if you have any on hand. Also in the next clip I bought some pizza dough from Coles. And this is what it looks like. Um... I must admit the video kind of looks good, but I didn't really like the taste of the dough, so I wouldn't recommend the pizza dough from Coles. I just wanted to clarify, when I say the pizza dough from Coles, I mean the dough balls that you buy from the fridge section at Coles, and then you roll it out yourself. I didn't find it tasty, so I wouldn't be buying that again. So in this clip here, guys, I've just got some mashed potato and the chicken tenders from Coles in the freezer section. I've cooked that in the air fryer and then I've heated up some of the spicy peppers dolmio pasta sauce and I've just poured it on top of the chicken tenders. And I think I had a glass of beetroot and celery juice on the side as well. But I didn't want to show you guys again because I'm pretty sure I showed you guys my juice in my previous cooking video as well. I've kind of been obsessed with this. I've had a lot of bread with 
cherry tomatoes and bocconcini throughout the week. I've been so obsessed with it, but I'm pretty sure I had this for lunch a few times throughout the week. And this is one of my favourite snacks, having walnuts with some of the fresh medjool dates. What I do is take out the pits from the dates and then I stuff the date with walnuts. It's a really, really tasty treat that I really enjoy. Another little snack that I like to have throughout the week is the frozen edamame beans that I get from Costco. I think you buy a box with six little packets in there, which equates to about three kilos and it's about $20. Sometimes it does go on sale for $15, but I find this is a little bit healthier than me eating a packet of chips. You just boil it and then you eat it as is, or you can season it with some chili salt as well if you like. But this pretty much wraps up the home cooked meals that I've eaten throughout the week. Sometimes when I do go out to eat or I have a function that I go out to eat at, um, those videos will, will be recorded and uploaded on my shorts tab. Thanks for watching guys.